Lesson number two, making yogurt and soy sauce. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the production of yogurt from milk as the conversion of lactose to lactic acid using bacteria. And explain that the commercial production of soy sauce includes fermentation of a mixture of cooked soybeans and roasted wheat using aspergillus, further fermentation using yeasts, and then lactobacillus, filtration, pasteurization, and sterile bottling. Milk is a nutritious food, but soon turns sour unless kept in a refrigerator. Even then, refrigerated milk will only keep for a few days. Long before refrigerators, we knew that lactic acid bacteria could be used to preserve milk. The bacteria turned milk into cheese or yogurt, which kept for much longer than milk itself. To make yogurt, milk is heated to sterilize it, killing any bacteria already present. Then the milk is stirred thoroughly to mix up the, its ingredients, and milk protein is added. A starter culture of lactobacillus bacteria is added to the milk while it is still warm. The lactobacillus bacteria ferment the sugar, lactose, in the milk to lactic acid. Lactose, via lactobacillus, goes to lactic acid. The lactic acid lowers the pH of the milk. The milk becomes more acidic, to the point where the milk proteins coagulate or solidify. The semi-solid milk is raw yogurt. The raw yogurt is cooled quickly. Different flavorings of fruit may be added to the yogurt, or it may be put into pots as natural yogurt. The pots are then sealed and ready for sale. Soy sauce is a fermented sauce made from soya beans. It originally came from China and is an important flavoring used in cooking. Producing soy sauce depends on the activities of aspergillus mold, lactobacillus bacteria and yeast. Soya beans are cooked, which kills all of the bacteria on their surface and mixed with ground roasted wheat. Aspergillus mould is added to the mixture. The mixture is spread out on a warm, shallow tray and supplied with air. Enzymes produced by the aspergillus mould catalyse the breakdown of the proteins and carbohydrates in the mixture. The amino acid and sugar content of the mixture increases. Brine, or sodium chloride solution, is added to the mixture. It gives soy sauce its salty taste and helps to preserve the final product. Yeasts and lactobacillus bacteria, which are able to tolerate high levels of sodium chloride and low levels of oxygen, are added to the brine mixture. The conditions stop the activities of the aspergillus mold. The sugars in the mixture are fermented by the yeasts and lactobacillus bacteria. Raw soy sauce is drained from the mixture. The liquid is filtered and cleared of any sediment. Filtration. The filtered and cleared liquid is heated to 72 degrees centigrade, pasteurization, and stored to allow its flavors to develop. It is then put into sterilized bottles and ready for sale.